need to effectively, effectively, effectively. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my February favorites here for you today. So I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites and then I have one makeup-y favorite that I haven't mentioned in Friday favorites. I've got some skincare stuff. I've got a hair care thing. And then I've got a couple of like techie favorites that I'm super, super excited about. So some fun things to talk about. So let's get to it. For overall Friday favorites, this has to be my overall eye favorite for the month. I love this palette. This is the Givenchy Nudes Necres Shimmering Nudes Palette. First off, it is absolutely beautiful. Just the packaging itself is just gorgeous. It's got this like really nice kind of silvery rose gold look to it, like a duochrome sort of a look. And it's just a really pretty palette. It's got some mattes, got some shimmers in it. This does get mixed reviews, but I personally love it. I have it on my eyes today and those shimmery shades just make me happy because they are so pretty applied foiled. I do use MAC Fix Plus with it, but it's an amazing palette in my opinion. For blush, I have to go with my e.l.f. blush palette. I think this is such nice quality, so pretty. This is the light shade and it overall kind of looks like it would be pretty bright and scary, but it really like works on the cheeks. Like these are not difficult to blend and work with. They're just really beautiful blushes. Today I do have this one on because I was trying to go a little bit more neutral with my cheeks, but I mean, I've pretty much, I think I've worn all these. For sure this one, yeah, I've, I've worn them all. I can think about it. I've worn them all and I like them all. Just a really nice palette, super affordable. For lips, I have a really hard time narrowing down, so I have four overall monthly favorites. So I know that's not really narrowing down, but I did try at least a little bit. So first off, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss, and this is in Sun Glaze. Just a really pretty kind of like metallic -y sheen to it. It's really pretty popped in the middle of the lips. It just adds some dimension. It's inexpensive. I really like it. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid, and this is in Nude Thrill. That's what I've got on today. I do have just a little bit of that other gloss just right in the middle, but it's mostly this that you're seeing, and these are really nice in my opinion. They do have a strong scent to them, so that's a negative, but I really like the formula. I talk more about that like in depth of what I like about the formula in Friday Favorites when I first show it. I also really love this, the Merle Norman Age Defying Lip Color plus Lip Color in Fuchsia Flirt. This was so impressive, so comfortable to wear, really nice and long wearing, like just super duper impressed me. It's a really pretty like, I don't know, fun berry pink color. So it's real girly and just a great formula. It was awesome. It smells nice too. Very MAC lipstick-ish. Like it reminds me of MAC. And then also, this is probably my standout. If I had to just like narrow down to one, this is what I would have picked because I got it from Timothy for Valentine's Day. So it's special. This is the YSL Beauty Rouge Volupti Shine and this is in Nude Lavalier, I think it's called. Number 44. I wish they would put the name and not just the number on the bottom, but I think it's Nude Lavalier. Just beautiful and a really like glossy, gorgeous everyday color. It's so pretty, not very long wearing, but comfortable and pretty. Now on to other things. So first off a makeup-y favorite that I have not mentioned in Friday Favorites is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. And I have it in Porcelain 10. So I remember liking this when I first got it, but I've been really liking it lately. Like I've been using it for either like just, you know, with my makeup when I'm first applying it or for touch-ups throughout the day. It just has the most amazing, buttery, gorgeous texture to it. It just makes the skin like blurred and perfected and some kind of magic that it does to the skin. And I'm liking it. It is a beautiful, powder, like just such a nice texture to it. What does it even say about it? It says our first powder with salicylic acid that wears all day, improves skin's look. That was hard for me to say. Skin's look. Reduces the appearance of imperfections, pores, and unevenness. So there you go. Like it's supposed to just make your skin look better, better skin. And I would say it definitely does that. It's a gorgeous, powder. And then sadly, a Fooey item for the month. I think after trying this several times, 
I think it's just a fooey for me personally and my skin type and skin tone and just all those things. So this is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder and this is in Golden Hour. I know a lot of people really do like this and I thought I really liked it when I first tried it too. Let me see, it says a real life wearable beauty filter. This soft, loose setting powder graces skin with subtle luminosity, blurs imperfections and eliminates shine. The unique plush microfine texture creates a flattering veil that does not cake or settle into fine lines and pores. Ceramic microspheres scatter light to create a delicate velvety finish that smooths, evens, and perfects the complexion. Soft light blurring powder sets makeup and prolongs wear. Hmm. Flattering on all ages, skin tones, and skin types. Uh, I don't know about skin types like and skin tones. This looks not super yellowy and dark on me, but just a little bit. It just sort of this is overall what I found. Every time I've used it, I don't really love the way that my makeup looks and I don't really love the way that it wears throughout the day. So that's really the main thing is I feel like the color really kind of doesn't work for me because I'm pretty fair and this is, you know, it has a little bit of like a, a tint to it or something. I think it's going to work for most people, but it really just doesn't work for me. But then also I get oily with it throughout the day. Like I like the way it looks when I first apply it on my skin. It really does blur and it, it does look pretty when it first is applied other than it being slightly off for me. I'm just kind of looking at it like it does look pretty, but it's slightly off in tone in color and like depth and all that. It just really doesn't match me. But also I just get kind of oily with it. Like it's a little bit too luminous, a little bit too glowy. So I think this is gonna work for a lot of people like based on their skin tone and skin type. But for me, it's just really not working. But it is a beautiful packaging. If I can get it closed, there it goes. It's such a pretty packaging to it. I wish it worked, but it really just doesn't overall for me. Now onto some skincare items. So these happen to all be from Pixie, not for any reason, just other than I've been using them and I've been loving them this month. So first off is the Pixie Skin Treats 24K Eye Elixir. It says Energizing Peptide Serum. It says patent formula infused with age-defying ingredients and peptides to help smooth fine lines, prevent signs of fatigue, and reduce puffiness. So it says gently roll applicator under eye from inner to outer corner two to three times. So I love to use this in the mornings because my eyes are puffy in the mornings a lot of times. And this is just so nice and cooling. And I do feel like it deep puffs. Like it's just a really nice treatment. Like it feels nice. I feel like it does things, good things and just works. And I've been remembering to actually use it. I think because like, I like the way it feels. I do really like the um, puff off from Benefit a lot, but for some reason, like, I like using this a little bit more. That one's really cute packaging and it does feel really nice. It's got that kind of um, metal applicator, so it does feel cooling, but something about this one, like rolling it on, just like feels better. You know, it's more fun to use, so I'm remembering to use it more, but it's a great little treatment for the under eyes and I think it works really well. I've also been really enjoying this at nighttime. This is the Beauty Sleep Cream Rich Night Treatment and it says, good thing I kept the box. What does it say about it? Night recovery cream with 100% natural mango butter to protect and nourish skin while you sleep. Rich in vitamins A, C, and E to effectively, 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 mm -hmm. effectively Combat free radicals, fast absorbing, nutrient rich, gentle, and soothing. So I just noticed that when I use this at night, first off, it feels really nice on the skin, but I like the way my skin looks in the morning. Like the nights that I use it, I notice my skin looks nice in the mornings. You know what I mean? That's a big factor. Like some, and I can tell the difference. Like some mornings I wake up and I'm like, what did I use last night? Note to self, don't use that again. Like there's just, some mornings I wake up and my skin looks more smooth and hydrated and not splotchy. So it does, like I can tell a definite difference like night to night from what I'm using. So that's why I have like my tried and trues. Like I love my Josie Marin Argan Oil. I use that all the time. I love my Kate Somerville 
Delo oil, those are two go-tos for me. And then I kind of add in things with those, and this is one that I've been adding in and really, really liking. It just, you're not gonna see anything because it doesn't have any color, but it has a nice like herbally scent to it. Some people may not like it, but I like it. It's like a, it's an herbally, I don't know, an herbally, herbally scent. I can't think of any other way to describe it. It has a nice scent to it though. And it just feels hydrating. It feels like a, a skin treatment. It's so good, I really enjoy it. And then this is definitely my standout skincare favorite for the month. I have been using this non-stop. This is the Pixi Plus Caroline Hyrens Double Cleanse. So one side is the solid cleansing oil and one side is the cleansing cream. This has been the way that I've been cleansing my skin at night. Like, I've just been using this and it's awesome. I've even got some makeup in it because I've been using it. Sorry about that. But one side, this side is the solid side, and then this side is the cleansing cream. I kind of wondered like how this would work. I like cleansing balms. Like I figured I would like that side, but I wondered about the cleansing cream side because I'm more combo oily. My skin can be sensitive sometimes. I can be a little bit acne prone. Not like I used to be, but a little bit. And this has been awesome. Like it just removes my makeup, but it doesn't make my skin feel like that dry, squeaky clean feel. You know what I mean? Like I want my skin to feel cleansed and the makeup like it's been removed, but I don't want it to feel like, ooh, like it sucked all the nutrients and moisture out of my skin. And I feel like this is like removing the makeup, but also like hydrating my skin and making it feel really nice. Let me put this lid back on so I can read the back. Well, I put the lid back on for nothing because the back says nothing. And I actually didn't keep the box for this one, so I had to look it up online. It says, skin loving ingredients, solid cleansing oil, vitamin E, protects and conditions, camellia oil, omega rich and nourishes, evening primrose oil, heals and moisturizes, cleansing cream, vitamin C promotes collagen and protects, Peptide complex, line relaxing and plumping, arginine, argin, argin, argine. <laughs> I'm struggling. Argine, argine, I don't know. Improves cell renewal and elasticity. So, in a nutshell, it does good things for your skin. It takes off your makeup really well, but then it does great things for your skin as well with all these great ingredients. So, Love, love, loving this. A standout hair care favorite for me this month is this stuff. This is the Redken Windblown 05 Dry Finishing Spray to hold a full windswept effect. So this is second day hair, so you're really not getting to see like what this stuff really does because I like to use this on first day hair because I have really fine, soft hair. So it tends to just kind of like all stick together and kind of just lay it likes to just lay. So I like stuff like this that gives like, but this is different. I like products that give my hair a little bit of texture and a little bit of like a tousled look, but I feel like this is different because it's that dry finishing spray. So I'm loving the way that it separates my hair and gives a little bit of texture, but it also gives some hold and gives a little bit of volume. Like it just kind of like, I don't know, gives it some texture, but then kind of like makes it stay there. Now it can go overboard, like if I apply too much, it can get like really kind of too messy looking. So I kind of have to like not go crazy with it, but it's just an interesting different sort of product because I've never used a dry finishing spray before, at least that I can remember. I don't think I have. So this is a new experience for me, but I still do use my hairspray because I feel like hairspray makes the biggest difference, just gives my hair texture and hold and I love me some hairspray, but I feel like this is a good like first step. If you don't like hairspray, I think you would really like this and maybe even feel like this is enough to kind of hold your style. Something I do notice about this, well, let me note the smell. It does have a strong, a strong scent to it. It's almost like a perfumey kind of a smell. So I don't really, I don't really like the scent. Like it's not bad, but I wish it were more like fruity and less perfumey. But something to note about this is I feel like my hair is kind of more weird the second day when I use this. 
you know, I think it's the rule of like, if you use more product, your hair is going to be like dirtier the next day because you have more stuff in it, you know? So I noticed when I use this stuff, the next day, I kind of have to work with it a little bit more to like make it work. But that first day, it's really great. So it's kind of like the, you know, the toss up. Like, do you want it to look better the first day or the second day or, you know, whatever. But I still really like it. I still use it the first day. I just kind of have to work with my hair a little bit more the second day. That was a tangent. It's a good product. And then lastly, some techie favorites on my new lenses. These are both so cool. So if you follow me on Snapchat, I was kind of like talking about different lenses that I've tried and I had kind of decided, well, I had decided that I was just going to keep this one. And I ended up like talking myself into returning this one, which is what I'm filming on right now. But after actually filming with it, I ended up falling in love with this lens too. So these two lenses, I really, really love because I've wanted to kind of like, I have thought about upgrading my camera. I have the Canon Rebel T5i. I thought about upgrading that, but I was kind of like doing some research and then I watched, um, I think it was an old video of hers, Madison Miller's video, where she talks about a lot of different lenses. So that kind of like got me on wondering and looking into lenses. And so anyway, that's kind of like how I went down that rabbit trail. But this one, let me talk about this one first because this is a really good lens. This one I can show you because it's not actually on my camera. It, they call this a pancake lens because it's really tiny. Now these are all fixed lenses, so that's something to know about them. If you're used to like the kit lenses that come with the Rebels, they can zoom. They have different focal lengths, but these, both of these are fixed lenses. So it, it was a little bit of an adjustment for me to kind of learn where to put my camera and all that. And I know I can't zoom, like I have to just move the camera or move me, you know, it's one or the other. So these are both fixed lenses, so that's something to know, know about them. But anyway, this first one is the Canon EFS 24 millimeter F2.8 STM. So what I like about this one is it's more affordable as far as lenses go because this is right at 150. Um, so that's why I had decided to just keep this one because it was more affordable um, and it's still a really good lens. It's very, very crisp. And I filmed several videos with this and I'm gonna keep filming with it. Now camera, why you gotta cut me off like that? We're talking about techie things. We're talking about your subject. My camera just cut me off. So I don't know what I was saying, but it's a really crisp looking lens. So everything looks really nice and defined. It does let in more light because it is the um, 2.8. So it lets in more than a lot of lenses, but not as much as the other one, this other one that I'm about to talk about. So it's still a really nice, high quality lens at a very affordable price. That's what I like about it. And that's why I was just gonna stick with this one. But then I tried this one and ended up falling in love with it. And what I like about this one is it lets in even more light and gives more of the blurry background. And it's just a really nice lens, but it has a high price tag. So that's what I don't love about it. But lenses are crazy expensive. Like 500 is a lot of money, but some of them are thousands of dollars. They're so expensive. So in the grand scheme of lenses, it's not completely crazy, but it's still, it's still pricey. So I don't know if I already said this, but this is the Sigma 30 millimeter F 1.4 DC, and this is an art lens. So again, just really crisp and gives that really cool depth of field look to it. It's really, really pretty, but you know, both of these are an investment, but I do think even if you got this one, I think you'd still be really happy with it because it's still great quality. And I'm just really excited about them because it's just, artsy and creative and fun. So I'm loving my new lenses. All right guys, so that wraps up my February favorites. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this month, either makeup or skincare or hair care, or if you have a techie favorite, I would love to know that. If you are a photographer or if you make videos, I'd love to know if you have some standout favorites in that department, because I think it's a really fun subject. And yeah. Let me know your favorites down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.